And first at 10, a fire bug targeting mobile homes in Huron Township. Tonight it has neighbors on edge and police changing their patrols. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live at Huron Estates in Huron Township with the latest. Aaron. Glenda and Heather, definitely a scary situation for neighbors out here. This all went down around 2.30, 3 o'clock this morning. That's when neighbors saw two suspects run away from the area. Just take a look at some of the damage. You can see the shed right here absolutely torched. If we make our way over here to this mobile home right over here, you can see the siding. Someone was actually sleeping inside of there. Luckily, they were able to get out. I'm just going to swing back over here real quickly and just take a look at this. It just shows you the scene here. Just a little tricycle absolutely scorched. Thankfully, someone brought his near three-year-old granddaughter a brand new bike. But people out here are still wondering, will this happen again? If it's your child or a neighbor and you know who it is, get them help before they kill somebody. This isn't just fun. This no. has gone beyond fun. Wait, how is this fun? <laughs> how is this fun? Some neighbors woke up to an explosion, others by a frantic knock on the door. Here's surveillance video of one of those fires. You can see the bright white light in the corner. Does it make you nervous? I mean, this could have been somebody's yeah. life or you know what I mean? Yeah, it could have been actually my whole family's life right here. If this went up in flames, it could basically hit this meter, blow up the whole trail park. Yeah, because all this is all connected to everything. Firebugs ending the holiday weekend with flames, torching four sheds, causing more damage to nearby mobile homes at Huron Estates in Huron Township. There's a lot of kids around here. You know, there's my wife's actually pregnant, so, you know, if this would have blew, you know, that could have been all of us. It was not the ending to Memorial Day Army veteran Chris Labonte had in mind, rushing outside to save his home and neighbors. The siding scorched at the bedroom where someone had been sleeping. Our neighbor, they have damage. We have a little bit of damage, but this is wasted. Memorabilia, everything is just gone. I don't even know where to start. Once again, just look at all the damage out here. This shed is absolutely torched. One good thing that came from this is that Huron Township Police, they tell me that they are dedicating an officer now out here this week for extra patrols. For now, we're live in Huron Township, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News.